Hi. Welcome to the party. I want to start out with a question for you. Do you ever feel a tingling down your spine, your neck? Like you might be hearing something, but then you look and there's no one around. It happens to me literally every hour. What is it I ask myself? Your mother's voice? Her mother's ghost? A song you once heard? Something you are ignoring, forgetting, or never even knew? This is me. My brain is a tangle, and even today, I don't understand how I work. What summons this feeling? How could we record it? In the time of caves, we would write on the walls. Monks would make scrolls, illustrate them. Pilgrims would sew blankets and literally sleep in their history. But in the 90s, we had CDs. Schools, museums, ads, CDs were everywhere. Most families would store them in books or vast tower in plastic. Tiny circles running round, running round. CDs hold 700 megabytes of data. That's about five podcasts. Or maybe a minute of high quality video footage. We mostly used CDs to listen to music, didn't we? To clear out our minds and travel to distant places. But back to the towers. They took up space in your house, your binders, offices, colleges, storage became pretty costly. In the 90s, a number of teams were working on a solution. In 1991, the MPEG Group, along by the Rattlestein Institution in Germany, together they had a breakthrough. You remember that ringing? That sense in the back of your spine? It's information. Scientists realize actually it's a little hard. It's part of what makes audio files so large. You know, I'm sure all of us have an audio file in our life. A brother, a sister, a father, probably. There's a lot of information that we can't even perceive. And from an archival point of view, who needs it? It's just clogging up our lives. So let's lose it by compressing it. They wrote a code, and it came to be the MP3. That opened the door, and Virtual DJ walked right through it. For over three decades, Atomics Productions has been the leading company on the digital DJ market. Its main software, Virtual DJ, has been downloaded more than 150 million times, and is currently being used by more than 6 million different people every day. It's incontestably the most used DJ software on the planet IR. Once information became movable, slammed down, it also became remixable, removable, rejectable. And all from my computer, telephone, or magazine reader. If there's a word I would use, it's empowering. I've started to see the world in new ways. I don't claim to be a good DJ, but you guys get me. The truth is that to be a live day is to DJ. There are more streams than ever before. Our parents, they don't, you all know, they don't even understand. Every moment we're making decisions to ignore this, to focus on that, just to stay safe. The online DJ community is a 
out of the curve in this respect. Testing and finding patterns and purposes. An image, a parrot, a pirate, a shoulder. I feel like a stain, a past, a speech balloon. History is a loop. Now tax day is 414. My birthday is March 23rd. It's not an exact science, we know that, but there's something about April. But now, we're closing out August. August is interesting too. On this day, August 31st, volcanoes erupted, the White House was burned down, and of course, who can forget the Beijing Olympics? So beautiful, so ambitious. And also, this horse race happened, down to the second, if you can believe it. Think of virtual DJ as a visualization tool. It gives you a sense of time and things start happening faster and faster, barreling down with these stacks, this compression, it's behind our sense of deja vu. I always point to so inspiring, so ambitious. And, if you can believe it, 20 years ago today, this horse race happened in Kingston, New York. I'd tell you the winner, but honestly, it's not important.
his cannon was vast, and even after his body was frozen, he is one of the country's most important cultural selectors. Another religion out for intellectual property. Annexing popular myths and dreams. feel like you're hearing something but there is nothing? A voice, your name, a song, like there is something you've forgotten or never even knew? The brain is a tangle and even today there's a lot, a whole lot that we don't understand. There is a philosophy, the Disney Method, developed by Robert Diltz in 1994. The Disney Method takes some of Walt's instincts and captures them into a complex system, moving between outsiders realists uses four specific parallel thinking styles in turn. Parallel thinking to generate ideas, construct and critique a plan of action. The four thinking styles Then there's critics. I always point to Simba from The Lion King, the Disney property, who I think is a good example of all four thinking styles. Born a critic of his father, of the herd's patriarchy, of seriousness, the point of life itself. He's cast aside by Scar to become a dreamer and then returns to become a realizer. Now a single person can occupy all four positions in time, and in fact, that's often what happens. It's what a loop is all about. The idea of Simba is something mediated and that's continued to change. He changes in the story, then our understanding of him changes externally. Called theater theater arts. I was about 21, about 26, 27 years ago, when I went to Indonesia on a fellowship, a traveling fellowship to Eastern Europe, Indonesia, and Japan. And it was in experimental puppet theater and visual theater. And I went for three months and stayed four years Do in Indonesia. Do you know Indonesia. the most profitable piece of Why? entertainment theater. of all time? Theater arts. The Lion King on Broadway. I was about 21, about 26, 27 Four. years ago, 
When I went to Indonesia on a fellowship, a traveling fellowship to Eastern Europe, Indonesia, and Japan, and it was in experimental puppet theater and visual theater, and I went for three months and stayed four years in Indonesia. Why? Called theater, theater arts. I was about 21, about 26, 27 years ago, when I went to Indonesia on a fellowship, a traveling fellowship to Eastern Europe, Indonesia, and Japan, and it was in experimental puppet theater and visual theater, and I went for three months and stayed four so years I in Indonesia. Why? And do you know the story of the Lion King? Do you know the story of the Lion King? The idea for the Lion King was conceived in late 1988 during a conversation between Jeffrey Katzenberg, Roy E. Disney, and Peter Schneider on Plane to Europe. The topic of a story set in Africa came up, and Katzenberg immediately jumped at the idea. Katzenberg decided to add elements involving coming of age and death, and ideas from personal life experiences, such as some of his trials in his bumpy road in politics. Trials in his bumpy road in politics. Disney politics, they mean. He said about the film, there's a little bit about myself. Writing drafts of the script, which was titled King of the Beasts and then King of the Jungle, the original version of the film was very different from the final film. The plot was centered in a battle being between lions and baboons, with Scar being the leader of the baboons, Rafiki being a cheetah, and Timon and Pumbaa being Simba's childhood friends. Simba would also not leave the kingdom, but become a lazy, slovenly, horrible character due to manipulations from Scar, so Simba could be overthrown after coming of age. By 1990, by 1990 producer Thomas Schumacher decided to attach himself to the project because, quote, lions are cool. The lions are cool, but what keeps the lion thing in our minds? It is many things. So many things. Thomas, I had received uh, one of his black and white publicity photos, and right away there was some really nice appealing qualities to, to Jonathan that I thought would be really nice if I could get those, some of those elements into Simba. Not that Jonathan looks like a lion cub, but there was just, you know, just there's an a, a appealing quality to Jonathan that I really wanted to get into that. You can't do anything to me. <laughs> Technically, they can. We are on their land. But Zazu, you told me they're nothing but slobbering, mangy, stupid poachers. That coupled. The original version of the film was very different than the final version. The plot was centered on a battle between lions and baboons, with Scar being the leader of the baboons, Rafiki being a cheetah, and Timon and Puma being Simba's childhood friends. Simba would also not be the leader of the kingdom, but would become a lazy, sloven character due to the manipulation from Scar. So Simba could be overthrown after coming of age. In 1993, producer Thomas Schumacher, who had just completed The Rescuers Down Under, decided to attach himself to the project because, quote, lions are cool. Schumacher likened the idea to an animated version of a National Geographic special. President Joe Biden met with cabinet members and law enforcement leaders at the White House on Thursday to discuss ways to curb gun violence. The Gun Control Task Force, led by Vice President Biden, is charged with delivering legislative proposals by January as part of the administration's response to the school shooting in Newtown, Connecticut, and other tragedies. Let me start by uh, thanking you all for being here. I look around this table and I've uh, worked with, uh, excluding the cabinet and administration officials, I've worked with some of you for a long, long time. Uh, all the police organizations represented here have been my friends and allies for over 35 years. Uh, and uh, uh, the president asked... A strange loop is a hierarchy of levels, each of which is linked to at least one other level by some type of relationship. A strange loop hierarchy is tangled 
and that there is no well-defined lowest or highest level, moving through the levels one eventually returns to the starting point, i.e. the original level. Moving through the loop one returns where one began. I always point to Joe Biden. He's been in the news recently. So now he points at me. Clinton, Gore, Kerry, Clinton, Obama, Biden. It's the 80s. His affable white smile. Get pretty far. This is from Biden's one of his first archive appearances on C-SPAN. And you get pretty far. Pretty far. Joe Biden is the Disney method made manifest. The outsider. The insider. The confidant. The critic. He's always been kind of gross. Here is one of his first archival appearances on C-SPAN. Ronald Reagan had appointed five white ghouls to the Civil Rights Commission in 1985. I don't have any argument with you, but I'm going to vote against It was Biden's job to interview them. Um, and I mean it sincerely, what I'm about to say. Each ghoul I do more think devilish that than the, the last. legalistic interpretation of whether or not there is in fact the right of the president to dismiss you misses the point. We are trying to form a consensus here in the United States of America whereby we can have what will be a the largest minority. I don't have any argument with you, but I'm going to vote against all of you. Um, and I mean it sincerely, what I'm about to say. I do think that the legalistic interpretation of whether or not there is in fact the right of the president to dismiss you misses the point. We are trying to form a consensus here in the United States of America whereby we can have what will be a the largest minority. And I feel, I mean this sincerely, I feel very badly that you all have to be put through this because your credentials the same from my here. standpoint are Strom Thurmond. And I say that again and I will conclude now Thurman, by emphasizing the famous filibuster so racist who Biden famously eulogized who for nine years has opposed busing as a reasonable way to provide for the equal opportunity of black Americans. And I am one who has outspoken since 1972 to the chagrin of my liberal friends the on the basis of quotas. I have Beautiful used some brain. of your stuff, Mr. Abrams, Dr. Abrams. I have used it time and again to make my case. And here I am going to be voting against you. But you are not the issue. The perception, the signal that is being sent, I think is horrible. What the president should do, or what we should do, is pass a bill here. We should withhold your nominations, not vote you down, not vote challenged and unexamined mores of the South. Reaching his full maturity in an era of fully challenged and critically examined bankrupt mores of his beloved South. And living out his final three decades in a South that had formally rejected its past unchallenged and unexamined mores of the South. Reaching his full maturity in an era of fully challenged and critically examined bankrupt mores the best selectors in the country are South. trolling through Biden's C-SPAN archives his final three decades in a for South anything that had 
took the CD, the VHS, and picked one and two and three and four. It's finally possible to capture C-SPAN's whole archive online or even a large disc. Exactly does that mean? We can see it all. I believe this is a very important point to make to the American public because there are a growing number of people across the country who are seizing on the incident at Waco as well as Ruby Ridge to suggest that law enforcement is our enemy. This suggestion is powerful <clears throat> because every federal law enforcement officer is entrusted with one of the most important. C-SPAN made politics visible. In an era of fully challenged and critically examined bankrupt mores of his beloved South. And living out his final three decades in a South. C-SPAN is famous for its long it interviews. Generally considered center-right, white, and its continuing coverage of the House and Senate. And for their morning show, where they take callers and read the newspaper. They DJ the news. The loop of democracy. The New York Times story. And the photograph that of this police officer carrying the young child on the bottom of the page is one that seemed to, uh, to symbol symbolize uh, yesterday's uh, events. This appears in virtually every paper. It's an AP photograph. Let's move on to another headline as well here. The Washington Post, bomb kills dozens in Oklahoma federal building, more than 200 missing children at daycare among victims in a parent terrorist attack. And again, the photograph of the police officer handing the small child to the firefighter in Oklahoma City. The president makes the story right below. Clinton condemns evil cowards for blast. President launches massive federal probe. Attorney General cites death penalty. And we'll continue here with our new... Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, um, shortly after the Obama presidency began, you saw probably the biggest escalation of gun and ammunition sales in the history of the world. And it's because never in the history of America, or as long as I've been alive, I'm 49 years old, have so many American people feared their president. And in, in the real world, the, the way point America of the is supposed to work, the government is supposed to fear the people. In 2002, I made a war based on the Beltway Sniper. And, give it to somebody else. and my point is that, you know, one of these days, People are going to stop asking I grew up in if someone is black enough or white enough when to these start murders asking, happen. are they American enough? And at Thank the you. time, God found America. something funny uh, about the way people were reacting to them. If you don't no, remember, I would, I would the Beltway Sniper happened I would just back after 9 11, the, the compact disc of terrorism. Some of the other questions that have been raised this morning, uh, and that was the and the escalation. And it was a series uh, of completely random murders in Washington, D.C. Because while the president has been able to for about 18 days. Ever. The media empowered the murderers, made louder something horrible. In the 90s it was crime, in the 2000s it was terrorism, now it's immigration, it's always guns, it's always us. For Biden it was crimes, and now it's nothing.
They say it takes 20 years for news to become music. I think I mostly want a feeling of control. Is that so much to ask? Why don't I deserve it? Again, I look to Simba. It's 2019 and he's back and better than ever. With virtual DJ, I can have it all. Oh. 